everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Ajwa and I hope this video finds you well if you are new to this place please consider subscribing and to all my returning subscribers welcome back and thank you so much so in this video I have a fragrance which has managed or is purported to you know have captured the whole essence of Africa I'm not too sure which part of Africa they were trying to capture. Is it the people? Is it the culture? Is it the food? Is it the land, the topography, you know, the nature? You know, what exactly were they trying to capture? I find some few things in this in this fragrance which is quite interesting. This fragrance I'm talking about is called African Lux, which is a, a deep of uh, Memo Paris African leather. So it is quite an elegant, simple bottle, you know, it's a mirror at the surface, which can be used, you know, for maybe your makeup touch up or something, you know, it's quite um, a new one, you know, I've not seen anything like this um, when it comes to fragrances. So the notes in this one includes bergamot, geranium, saffron, cardamom, um, cumin, vetiver, wood, mask, leather, and patchouli. You get that blast of cardamom, which is infused with the cumin, which is a warm, spicy, sort of bitter and sour um, spice. So the fragrance itself does not come across as a sweet one. It, it manages to give it like an earthy, a grounded, earthy green vibes. I get a sort of lemon grass, you know, vibes to it, which I believe comes from the vetiver, infused with that oak moss and that um, warm, spicy cumin, which gives it a bitter sort of aftertaste with a bit of the bergamot, which is not like a super prominent, super um, um, effervescent one. So the fragrance itself is like, an earthy oak mossy green herbal um woody one it is not too woody you know it's not like an, a, a super woody fragrance um it is perfectly blended so you don't really pick up a lot of the notes the leather is quite subtle in it it doesn't overshine or overpower any other notes all the notes are beautifully blended the patchouli is not like um too too much or like too overbearing you get that earthy green um um refreshing sort of um lemon gra lemon grass um almost a bit minty vibes africa is um you know sort of uh, considered as nature mother nature with our grass our vegetation the wild i mean the wild coming from the, maybe the leather coming from you know the the wild the vegetation that is when you get the the whole greenness and then that cumin you know and the saffron where you get the spices because like this is the continent where spices you know like will overwhelm you in a very positive way the spices you know like it's one of the best thing that you know you can find when it comes to uh, food, you know, and even in medicine, you get a lot of spices in um, local or uh, African medicine and, you know, the food, the cuisine, everything is like um, super, super spicy, super, you know, um, like it is one that, you know, anyone who has touched the, 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 the food of Africa, you know, no matter how diverse it is, would, would attest to what I'm trying to say. This fragrance, although not super unique to me, I think it, it, it doesn't give off that um, um, ultra feminine vibes, you know, it is marketed as unisex, but I think it's quite masculine in nature. It doesn't give that ultra feminine vibes, you know, it is nothing too um, beastly, you know, it is not beastly, but it's quite powerful. It, is, it fills up a room if you sort of overspray. And what I like about this is that super um, like that, that sour, bitter aftertaste that you get from it, you know, it's just quite unique. It doesn't make it like uh, a super sweet fragrance. It doesn't have like any vanilla or tonka. This one doesn't have any apple, but it manages to have some sweetness to it, you know. So it, it sort of, in a way, gives me um, a total vibes of a refreshing, earthy, green herbal um leathery vibe that is exactly what I, that would how i would describe this fragrance so in essence i think they managed to capture africa in some aspects you know i don't know how the research and everything went in it but i think it's a good one you know it's a good one i will not consider this as a sexy um date night fragrance i'll just consider it as a um, everyday office sort of one with a uniqueness you know it, it doesn't come across as the usual blue um aftershave sort of um citric fragrances that a lot of um, men male fragrances uh 
uh, associated with this one has that with a bit of that earthy strong um powerful sort of um earthy vibes to it which gives it like an overall roundness so that is all i have for you and i hope this video finds you all if you are new to this place please consider subscribing and to all my returning subscribers i say thank you so much and welcome back please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up i would truly appreciate that thank you and i'll see you in my next one take care bye bye